Welcome to our video series about axial spondyloarthritis from the experts at the Arthritis Foundation. This video explores the diagnosis of this condition. Axial spondyloarthritis, AXPA for short, is a type of inflammatory arthritis that often affects the sacroiliac joints where your spine connects to your pelvis. The most common symptom is pain in the lower back, buttocks, and hips. AXPA can also affect other joints, including shoulders, knees, toes, and fingers, as well as the eyes and gastrointestinal tract. In the worst cases, bones in the spine grow together, making it hard to stand straight or move easily. The rib cage may also be affected, restricting its ability to expand. There are two types of AXPA. First, radiographic, where bone damage shows up on x-rays, known as ankylosing spondylitis. It affects men more than women. And second, non-radiographic, or NR AXPA, where you have symptoms, but x-rays don't show any damage. Most people with NR AXPA, especially women, never develop ankylosing spondylitis. AXPA symptoms often begin in teen and young adult years. No single test can detect AXPA, so doctors may perform a physical exam, take blood, an imaging test, and use their judgment to diagnose it. Other signs of AXPA include symptoms that come on gradually, not suddenly, as in an acute injury, pain that lasts three months or longer, nighttime pain and morning stiffness, less pain with movement, Unlike a back strain or sprain, AXPA pain is better when you move and worse when you're not active. Blood tests that indicate body-wide inflammation such as C-reactive protein or CRP and erythrocyte sedimentation rate or SED rate. A gene test that's positive for HLA-B27. However, a positive test can't confirm a diagnosis because the vast majority of people who carry the gene never develop AXPA. And certain populations who have AXPA don't have the gene, including African Americans. And imaging tests that show changes in the sacroiliac joints. But X-rays and MRIs by themselves do not confirm the disease. Talk with your doctor about any symptoms you're having. Keep a journal and discuss your treatment plan with your doctor.